Hi, my name is Miwa. I'm a mom of two boys aged four and six. Let me show you what I eat in the day to keep my family healthy. I always wash my face before the rest of my family wake up. Washing my face is a trigger to get myself into the housework mode. Do you guys have any routine to set yourself for the day? Between 6 a.m. and 8 a.m., I consider it as the busiest time in the day, making bento boxes as well as breakfast for my family. Lots of multiple tasks are going on, which stimulate my brain system. My kids are now four and six. Life got a lot easier than two years ago when I just started my YouTube channel. They don't ask for a 15 minutes cuddle anymore. It's a mixed feeling. If you have a baby and toddlers, you might be always exhausted and sluggish and it feels like never ending. I was there two years ago, but things will change as kids grow and evolve. I couldn't believe it, even though many of my friends told me back then. And now I finally have a room to cherish every moment of kids' growth, whether they are spilling milk or being picky eaters. So my biggest advice for you is don't be too stressed out and try to ask for help if you have someone next to you. Sending lots of lots of cheers from Japan. Today's breakfast is miso soup with loads of vegetable and tofu, natto and okura salad, bowl of rice and some Japanese egg omelette with the cheese and nori seaweed in it. I have more Japanese breakfast ideas in my e-cookbook. I hope that will inspire you. The link is in the description box. I have been constantly moving for two hours in the house, so I consider it as a morning exercise. Did I tell you that I used to work in yoga company a long, long time ago, even before the marriage? My boss and my co-workers were beautiful and charming to me. I'm talking about the women, by the way. They all had a very different charms, but one thing that's common was their posture and behavior. It's not like dressing up nicely or being born with a perfect face, but always keeping their posture straight, opening the chest and having a big, nice smile. So since then, I try to use inner muscle to keep my posture straight whenever I'm doing something to give it a positive influence to others. Because I see housework as an exercise, I actually started to like doing housework. If I see it as just a chore, I probably would hate it. Use inner muscle, get some movement, ask kids to prepare for school more than 10 times before they go. That is my morning routine. <laughs> You guys always ask me what your husband is doing during my hustle. So to answer this, he folds lunches and help my younger one to eat, which is a big lifesaver to me because folding clothes is my least favorite housework for me. He seems to enjoy it more than I do, so we cover each other's weakness to make things more efficient. And this is a silent understanding we have built up over 10 years, and I'm very appreciative of this. It's nice and quiet here. It's currently 9 a.m. in the morning and that's usually the time that I start working. And I have a to-do list. It's written the night before. So that like in the coming morning I can reduce the decision fatigue and I just keep it very minimal maybe like a three to four tasks each day so that I don't really overwhelm it, overwhelmed by not accomplishing the task and I have to get it done by 3 p.m. which is the time that my kids will come back and the first thing that I'm, I, I'm going to do is a meeting with my team members about my online courses. We have been working on this for three months. So I will show you the breakfast later. So see you then. If you found a way 
Before this brunch, I actually munched on some kiwi and corn in the kitchen when I was preparing breakfast for my family. I didn't even have time to film it, so this is my second meal. I have okura natto miso soup from this morning, same old rice with some beans and seeds. And this one is leftover from kids bento box. I just saute carrot, green peppers and beans with mirin and shoyu koji which is called kimpira in Japanese. I have a recipe in my vegan cookbook. In the book I'm using broccoli stem as opposed to using green pepper. I think both work so well. If you have my e-cookbook, please give it a shot. And the last one is the sweet and sour cabbage pickle I made a couple days ago as a meal prep. This is the type of recipe that longer it sits, the bolder the taste becomes. It's tart with a hint of nutty taste from tosesame oil, and it's crunchy so it adds nice freshness to the meal. As you can see, I basically eat leftovers, but what I care the most is variety. This Japanese breakfast style we call it Ichiju Sansai in Japanese is a great way to compensate for nutrition and excitement in our life. That's exactly what I try to share in our online Japanese cooking course, how you can implement this Japanese cooking style into your life without burnout. If you're someone who wants to be healthier you by using knowledge of Japanese cooking, things like Japanese fermented foods, umami taste, basic Japanese ingredients, meal prepping and meal planning, and lots more. I'll wait for you to enroll. I'm welcoming five people for the pre-selling with half of its price. I want to keep the group small so that I can have a close conversation with you guys. If you are interested, please subscribe to our mailing list so that you will be the first one to know when it's launched. Now it's 3 p.m. and that's usually the time that I will pick up my kids at school and bring him to the after school. So I'm going. He has been learning math and Japanese twice a week. And in Japan, after entering elementary school at age 7, kids are allowed to walk outside by themselves. It's probably not the same in other countries, so let me know what age kids are allowed to go out on their own. My son still asked me to come, so I go and pick him up at school. The biggest reason why he wants me is the candies I bring for him. I call it power snack. Even though for him it's just for candy, for me, I cherish this moment. Not only do I get to enjoy some fresh air, but also this is the only time I get to talk to him one-on-one. -on -one. I don't think he will ask me to walk with him in a year after. He's gonna be much more independent, so I'm sure I will miss this time. For dinner, I try not to spend more than 20 minutes for preparing. Mostly, I just reheat some prepped meal or create something new by repurposing them. I have another 20 minutes before picking up kids, so this is usually the time I do some workout, only if I feel like it. Now it's 5 p.m., so I'm gonna pick up my kids, and after we come back, I will show you how I finish preparing the dinner for my kids, so see you later. Back now, <laughs> we are back now, and it was so hot outside. It's like 35 Celsius in Tokyo now. So, I'm gonna make some dinner. I will show you what to make. I just made a bit of steamed rice, add some nori seaweed on top. To that, add reheated tofu scramble, which is also from my vegan cookbook, together with spinach salad. I added bonito flakes, shoyu koji, and flaxseed oil. I already made this and kept it in the freezer before picking up kids, so it's nice and chilled now. As a side note, I prepared some miso soup, which is just a leftover from this morning, and tomato, edamame, and corn. All of them are in abundance now. 
It's simple, but again, I try to include lots of different ingredients to it. After dinner, it's another busy time, cleaning up everything as I watch their homework at the same time. I think this is the toughest time. They hate doing their homework and often end up teasing and playing with each other. I'm gonna bathe them and put them to sleep. So, thank you for hanging out with me this far. It's a little different from usual recipe videos, but I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did. Good night. Oyasumi nasai.